major, but boy, it sure feels like it coming from way, way back. But they have to get through a team that has won both qualifiers so far. G2, while looking beatable, Daz, stand in TSM's way. And TSM, though, they're having one of the best performances of their entire season, maybe even for them as a roster in a whole. They've taken down Titans to get to this point, but they've got to go up against a G2, and Beast Mode is going to set the tone. This is what you're going to have to go up against if you want to fight to make it to Copenhagen. It's showtime, folks, and G2 are showing up on Sunday again. Nine seconds in. Beast Mode all over it. How does TSM respond? Already, look, he's right back on the ball again. Trying to set this up. We got to take this game by game if you're TSM. First things first, you're going to get a taste of what that G2 offense looks like. How are you going to be able to respond to that? Possession, big factor. G2 already has TSM looking uncomfortable here right off the start. But it's still been a one goal game. First 30 seconds, all G2 as we get things kicked off. G2 trying to play the role of fun police. You go back to that first qualifier. They looked out of sorts on Saturday, and then all of a sudden, it was this dominant G2. And we're seeing a mirror image of that right here. Daniel adds to the tally, and it's all G2 early. Demos on the back end, panic touches, everything going wrong here for TSM at the start. Lots of time left here in game, but this is definitely not the right thing for the opener. We haven't really even seen what they look like on offense yet. Literally everybody on G2 getting involved in that shooting department. Daniel Abismo with a goal, Atomic with an assist. Four minutes remaining. Let's see what TSM can do here. Here's Wavy on the ball. Takes this one up high. Maybe have a chance here. Tries to leave it for hockey. Was looking for the double, but just wasn't enough. Those are the opportunities they're going to have to convert. You're not going to get very many of them, even though G2 have allowed more scoring opportunities than in the past. There's a chance, and Hockey could not get to it in time. It goes wayward. G2 let off the hook. Can they get out of the zone and end this attack? Yes, they can. Beast mode up to the ceiling. One more touch to leave it in front. Daniel for Atomic, and Daniel gets the last touch. G2 keeps rolling. And this, again, just G2 having that counterattack. They worked so efficiently. Daniel didn't even touch that. Atomic had the goal locked in, but we'll get one on the way out. TSM, though, when they're on offense, when they're in front, we saw two opportunities back-to-back. -back, hockey with the shots, both missing opportunities. Depending on how this game goes, you might not get too many more of that. TSM have to be effective. We're seeing sides of it. Hockey will finally hit the mark. TSM on the board. Opportunities have been there. And G2 hasn't stopped many quality chances this whole weekend. So TSM have to play with a little bit more confidence and understand if we can at least get the ball in front, we got a shot. So they get one on the board here. Still a lot of Rocket League to go. It is still G2 on the other side. Hockey lets the midfield boost go. Wavy can take it. It's pinned on the back wall. Wavy comes in. Because he grabbed the midfield boost, he can get into the play, and it's a one-goal game. But that's what you want to see out of TSM, being able to respond back, right? Get the possession off the kickoff. Everything works out well. Hockey ended up getting that one touch that threw the defense off, follow-up demo, and Wavy coming through to clean it up. TSM not slowing down despite G2 hitting them with hard offense. Daniel will try to right the ship here for G2. Not happening. Hockey's in the way. Atomic will take his time. Hockey there to kind of force him off the play. Now beast mode up top, and nobody's there except Wavy. TSM have the momentum now as we get to the midway point of game one. That almost waterfall down into a scoring position. Now Hockey trying to get through beast mode. Won't happen. And things settle down a little bit more now for G2 and for TSM for that matter. Yeah, think, you're right. Things are starting to slow down. Still have to be careful, though. G2 still going to be creative, still going to be aggressive. But halfway through this game, you start to see TSM's ability of resistance. Back into this one and still not slowing down. That's a big win from Creams. It won't go in, but it will force beast mode and the rest of G2 to fall back. Chance here, a lot of big scrambling here on the goal line as Hockey tries to set it up for Wavy, but the G2 defense will knock it over to the side corner. Yeah, Wavy was so far back as Creams now will have to just kind of roll that off to the side and make Atomic work from the wing. He can, hits Daniel, perfect placement for two. And this one again, 
TSM on that rotation back. Hockey does get set, but once he realizes where Atomic's putting the ball, he backflips. Daniel hits the mark. You can't afford to make mistakes when G2's on that offense. They're going to challenge you every single time. It just keeps on coming here. Daniel's got a hat trick in game one. Lead is back to two. TSM going right back to work, though. They set it in. Right back out it comes. Hockey now back into the zone. One more touch needed. He won't get it. Creams was trying to take Daniel out along the back wall. And then Creams and Atomic trade demos at midfield. So back it goes. Wavy now. As Atomic coming in. Oh, my God. You talk about absolutely not respecting the opponent. Atomic just took was his up lunch so money early. and stuffed him in a locker. He was up so early, Stacks. He jumped from his own box. He had that all Whoa. day. He was not letting him. you take your time. And that's what TSM have to understand. This G2 roster will deny space. They don't want you to control the ball. They don't want you to have fun. And you got to fight that the entire way through. Game on. Beast mode looking for more. And Creams will have that out to the wing, but only as far as Atomic. I mean, G2 have established dominance here in game one. TSM made it a game for a while, and they still could get another couple of quick ones. But man, oh man, uh, we're seeing Sunday G2 at its finest. Daniel, double, drops down for Atomic. Everybody retreats. G2 realizing, okay, maybe we don't need a sixth, as that one goes well wide from hockey. Well, that backboard is being too free here for G2, and they are going to utilize it as much as they can. Lots of back and forth action. You can say, tell just from where TSM are position wise, they're just trying to keep up here at this point. But they've got to remain locked into their game plan here as well. Big gap in the score line here as we hit that final minute. Miss touches on the back end. Atomic almost picked up another one, but Wavy picked up the save. Daniel avoids Wavy. He's got Beast Mode behind him. May not need him. The shot just a little bit wide. Now Beast Mode will disrupt the clearance effort. It's only a question now of whether or not G2 will get a sixth goal. This one, all doubt has been erased from game number one. But we have seen kind of the prohibitive favorites, right? Gen G and G2 so far today. Maybe a little bit of a Jekyll and Hyde thing going on. I mean, Gen G looked dominant in one of their games, and then all of a sudden, OG took over. Maybe this semifinal will take on a similar shape. TSM fans certainly hope so. Stadium, of course, for game two. Let him roll. Big off goes to Daniel. He gets a free solo off of this one. Plays it high toward the ceiling. Atomic was trying to run interference. Got the redirect. Beast mode. Top corner. G2 in full control off the kickoff. G2 first blood any percent. He just broke his record from the last game one second sooner. I, again, I, I don't know how you contend with this. Three out of Daniel, two out of Beast Mode. Atomic's got four assists. Good luck. TSM have to find an answer. Maybe down two, but Creams makes that save. So G2 can keep the pressure on here in the first minute yet again. They came out of that first minute in game one with a pair of goals with similar pressure. Daniel almost got one there, but Wavy and it looked like Creams combined to send that downfield. Creams is there and let that one go by. Hockey, Creams, network, but high. Yep, just a little high, but this is good for TSM. He's having that ball on G2 side. I say that for a moment, but here go G2 trying to crash the net. Wavy will get a little bit of interference, and Atomic, he just picked up this mid boost, so he'll go up here. Takes it off the ceiling. Creams tries to get up to meet him. Can't stop him. Daniel will find the goal, and G2 strike, strike again. I mean, if not for the different background, I'd have thought this is a what? literal carbon copy of game one. They, they don't just respect keep doing him. They, you can tell. Like, for Daniel to go up close to the box like that, like, what a challenge out of Daniel. G2 are playing as if they, this is just their game, their series, and it feels like they just know it from the jump. Almost like they're in their comms. Creams from the middle. He's not going to have a whole lot to work with here, but he set up hockey. And Daniel just has that one easily away. G2 hold all the cards here. It's on TSM to bring the game at them. Did get a couple goals back in game one. 
And then it was all G2 again. Almost like, okay, you punch them, they go down. His wavy shot is blocked away at point blank range. You think, okay, you're done. Then TSM starts to get back up, and G2's like, ah, all right, all right, we'll knock you down again. That's how game one went. See how game two shapes out. Here comes Wavy and Hockey. Daniel got around the de uh, demo attempt, makes the save. Here comes G2. Oh, good bump there to slow things down, but even Daniel still trying to get a redirect there on the play. Wavy and Daniel trade demos. So Hockey will play this one up. He has, I believe, creams on the right side. He just picked up that mid boost, but it doesn't matter. Hockey now. Oh, actually, he's on his rotate back. I was looking at Atomic trying to pick up the ball. He's had Daniel there in the midfield. Wavy, though, trying to run interception and got a 50 towards the goal line. Not enough for TSM here. And G2 starts to move forward. People forget G2 trying to be the first team in NA to go three for three in regional events here in a split. Starting here off hot, and they're trying to keep that momentum moving forward. They look like a well-oiled machine at this point halfway through the game. Will they get their third goal? Daniel says yes as he smacks it back home. Too good. Absolutely too good. Make it five out of the eight goals now for G2 coming from Daniel. Halfway mark of game two. I mean, almost certainly a timeout from TSM coming if they even want to use it. As Wavy will throw it at the corner. Beast Mode's got that red over top of Creams. G2 with more possession. And I mean, this is clinical at this point. It is. It, this is starting to get away. I mean, G2 so far, first couple of games have hit that three goal mark. First game was five. Second game, I mean, there's still a chance. That's not going to go in. Wavy will get there in time, but you can feel it on the side of TSM, even knowing that they have the major hopes on the line, they've been playing the best Rocket League they've ever played, and they go into G2, and it's like hitting a brick wall. They have no way to get through right now. They have been scoreless all game two. I understand in a certain light, yes, it can be boring watching the same team win everything over and over and over again, but man, you can't help but appreciate when you see dominance on this level, like we're seeing out of G2, they have come alive here. And all of a sudden, every Sunday, it has been lights out from G2. Daniel tried to pinch that downfield, didn't get a lot behind it, but enough that Beast Mode could play it. Beast and Daniel take it out. They didn't get Atomic, so he slows it down. They're back into the play. Creams goes low. Hockey try to center for Creams, and Atomic recovers. Shut the door, stopped Wavy as well. G2 hold TSM scoreless to the final minute of game two. Demos on the back, here's Hockey all alone. Trying to see if he can muster up something, some way TSM can get this game going in their favor. They've been able to get that possession up a little bit more, but it hasn't yielded anything worth noting. And again, with G2, bring the ball back to the blue end. You start to see a little bit of scramble, you see a little bit of mistakes, and you almost see G2 goals. Most of them have gone in. Atomic trying to get the light touch to Daniel. Wavy will control it, Creams in the air. Has to get it past Daniel, does do so. Got the double, Wavy, no! A little too slow on that one. Beast Mode will get the clearance. DSM have had six shots. It's not like they've been completely frozen out of the zone. A couple other good scoring opportunities, but they have not found the mark. They have not cracked through the G2 defense. And now the final 10 seconds. Beast Mode, try to drop it down. Hockey out to Wavy. Doesn't matter if G2 gives one up at this point, but they're just that desperate to dominate the other team. Trying to demo you or bump you to get you uncomfortable. Here we that go. Is not the, that did not look like a team that has two more games left in their split or they miss the major. <laughs> the vibes immaculate out of TSM. Can they translate that into any goals whatsoever against G2? Two games left to find it. I see it. Vibes are high. and I mean, it's the first five minutes on the clock. Wavy. Starts this one off here. Beast Mode trying to get in front. They cut off the space. Atomic has an open net, and it's another G2 goal. G2's vibes are high as well. Look at this. Just immediately picking the pockets of TSM. Beast Mode had that all the way as he gave it to Atomic. Well, service with a smile. They open the door and let G2 right through. It took 19 seconds this time. But Atomic gets the first goal. Beast Mode still involved with his second assist. Just more of the same. G2 strike first. And now Beast Mode just taking that one away from Hockey. Let's go over towards Creams. 
Daniel up and out, makes the stop. Now hockey, he'll let this come to ground. Beast mode dives in from the sky. I mean, G2 are, are giving no respect whatsoever to TSM, and they continue to stop them. Pushing and pushing. They're not letting up off the gas. Atomic to the beast. It's just in the net almost every time. Last time it was beast mode to Atomic. This time he repays the favor. Scorpion Deathlock locked in. 2 0 now in the series, 2 0 in game three. Hockey couldn't follow this play up, so Wavy has to. Then you'll get a second touch here. Yes, Hockey read it, but can't get anywhere near the net. So here goes Atomic with Creams up to meet him. He just goes over top. Daniel redirect back in front. Hockey read the play. That's great. They can defend, kind of. They can't get any offense going. Wavy will try. Got a lead blocker. Got a demo. Atomic take it out. That goes no. off the crossbar. Creams has the follow. He's come alive, and TSM are on the board. The way G2's defense is set, I thought this was going to get saved. Even though Beast Mode missed the initial touch, he actually almost had it. But Creams got there first. TSM can pick up one off the counter. Now, can they continue to build here? This is still a lot of time in game three. Even though it looked like G2 controlled the pace, TSM has got one. They got a chance here. All three forward. Beast Mode with the save, clearing that out to the wing. Grimm's doing all he can to keep it alive. Hockey, fresh off that demo of Atomic. Still can't get into the play. Daniel serve it up. Atomic's up in the air as well. And Wavy with the save. Still a one goal game as Wavy goes to work across midfield. Cut out by Daniel and Beast Mode has the save in front of the net. Nobody else to follow this up. Now that's not a great touch out of G2, but everybody nowhere near the ball for TSM. And it leads to a goal out of Beast Mode. And this happens because of a double commit in the offensive end. Now everybody's trying to get back. No boost. Wavy goes up first. And it's just a leave for Beast Mode. Beast Mode, perfect shot there. He's been playing phenomenal in game three. One of the things we've always said about Atomic throughout his career, even going back to the NBA days, he's always been one of the best setup men in the league. He's got seven assists near the midway point of game three of this series. Hey, well, when you got Daniel in beast mode with you, yeah, you're going to rack up A's, but this is crazy. That's hockey, though, in the air, and he's got him back within one. It's good to see TSM giving the counterpunch three-person pass play. Cream to Wavy, Wavy to hockey, speed test, and he beat the beast. TSM is within one with plenty of time to go. As great as G2 have looked, TSM hanging with them now. An important kickoff that's taken by Atomic before he gets demolished. Beast Mode and Creams go 50, and it goes back out to midfield. Atomic ended up going low and off to the side. Hockey, can he line it up? No, Daniel recovers and keeps the lead intact. G2 a little bit over extensions here on offense, and TSM have punished them more than once for it. They almost got the equalizer there again. Now you got to start paying attention to G2's positioning. That's a good shot from Creams, forcing Daniel out. You're starting to see TSM come alive here. We hit the bottom half of game three. And G2 hasn't, throughout this weekend, as compared to previous weekends, they haven't saved a particularly high percentage of shots that they've allowed. Unfortunately for TSM, it's a little bit different G2 this time around. Hockey and Daniel race to this ball in the air. Beast Boat will take over. Atomic waiting, got the pass to him, but Atomic pushed it wide. And Hockey made sure to grab that corner boost so Atomic couldn't steal it. Daniel and Beast Boat, they've connected for so many over the past couple of years, not this time. And now Hockey trying to get this away from Beast Boat. He has, and what else can TSM do but just watch G2 bring it right back at him. Yeah, they, they have no strangers to play close here on the offense, but you almost think sometimes they play a little too close. Good play there for Beast Mode. Atomic pre-jumped the pass. Beast Mode almost had to follow Daniel trying to get involved now, but a good 50 here. Can't can TSM turn this into something? Wavy, that touch gets so far away from him. He was looking for a bump on Beast Mode, but couldn't connect. Now Hockey's getting bumped on the back end. Cream's last back. Strong 50, big 50 to stop Atomic there as well, keeping it a one goal game. Exactly what TSM needs as they try to get on the board. Hockey shot blocked out by Daniel. TSM trying to turn things around as the time ticks down. All right, Daniel was headed right to left across the goal, but he slammed the brakes on, realized where the shot was going. It was placed brilliantly, but Daniel was better, and then Beast Mode might have put it out of reach. 
The game was moving so fast. Beast Mode slowed it down at the right time. Everyone's expecting a shot from him. He gets the light touch to get everybody jumping and then banks the goal. Beast Mode, big time play. That's a hat trick for him. And where Daniel had been the star of the first couple of games, he doesn't have a goal in this game. Hasn't needed to. May get one as time runs down here, but Beast Mode continues to add to his impressive tally. Make it six in the series for him. Daniel picks up, by the way, his first assist as they're just stat padding at this point. You talk about how Daniel will sometimes have a game. When Beast Mode has a game, it's very evident. You're seeing it on all sides of the ball. Three saves, he's shooting four for seven. He's got an assist here as well with the pass that he gave to Atomic, and he's been a threat when he's been up on, to on top of the ball and sometimes off ball as well. Beast Mode having a game, shuts down. A lot of hopes here of TSM coming big here off the timeout, 30 seconds remaining, down by three, no timeouts left. Things continue at this pace, they go down, match point, and they have to reverse sweep a G2 who has scored at least three goals a game on them. After so many one goal games, that one just pushed wide as well. There have been now, when this clock hits zero, unless they give up a cheap one here, of course, ruin my number, sure. TSM will get one with three seconds left. But there have been now, what, five blowouts today after all those one goal games yesterday. This one would have been another three goal game. Now it looks like a two goal deficit when things finally settle. But G2 has been on another level. And now they've got quadruple match point. Oh, they may still get one anyways. They do not. Doesn't matter. G2, four shots. Throughout this series, 5-2, 3-0, 5 TSM turn it around. They're going to have to. We came into yesterday thinking about a possible six-way tiebreaker, and it didn't seem impossible by any stretch. And now we're looking at, nope, no tiebreakers. JK, LOL, it's just Gen G and G2 again. Great start, though. No goal is scored in the first 10 seconds, first 30 seconds. You like to see it. And seven, Kakreeb's laying out with no hockey misdirection because Wavy, he's got the shot. And TSM strike first. TSM's got its first lead of this afternoon. Hockey realized he couldn't get to it, didn't try to do too much, left it for Wavy. Well done for TSM. And finally, it's not G2 stake to a two goal lead. Now can TSM add to it? Off the kickoff, got it going the right way. Wavy, oh, he might have tried to leave it for Hockey. Then Hockey turned off at the last yep. moment, and it just turned into complete discombobulation for TSM. And they cannot let those go. Not at this stage. They're at the lead right now. But we know G2's offensive output. If these continue for G2, if that average continues from the series, TSM still got to get two more. Here's Beast Mode. Trying to start things off. Daniel on the wing. Gonna try to get that to Atomic. Great challenge for him. Immediately goes. Wavy picked up the boost, but he got demoed. So now, no one able to receive this clear except for Daniel. Daniel waiting here. Plays it low. Tries to wrap it around the net. Atomic got the demo on Wavy, who was in the net. But Daniel wasn't able to push it net word. Now G2 still zero game. And here we go. Wavy with a flick on the back end. We'll see if TSM can keep the ball on the orange hat. That was a great setup attempt there by Beast Mode, and now he's going to try to score it on the other side. And Wavy with the save on the left side. Hockey and Atomic both go by. Daniel stops Creams in his tracks and then checked him right into the wall again. So this goes all the way across. Hockey will have it, but oh, that's well done to get that back to Wavy. And look at Creams! Oh! oh, mercy! Are you kidding me? He took the boost, saw Wavy with the pass. Jumped on the ceiling and got the reset activated. What a play from Creams. That's exactly what you need when your back's against the wall. That a top play enough for you? My gosh. Hockey, try to go for more. No, he's left it for Creams, or maybe he just completely whiffed. Beast mode over towards Daniel and G2. Get one back. It's Daniel back on the scoring side. G2 not out of this just yet. Look at Beast Mode in traffic to get it to Daniel. And just enough power that the defense cannot react in time here. Even with that stun over play from TSM, G2 get one back. 
as they are still trying to close things out here. I mean, Chichi, Cream scored a worldy. Okay, guys, let him have one. Good grief. Hockey kicked it back out, and Creams couldn't quite connect. Wavy, if we got that midfield boost, how important is that going to be? He's got possession. Can chase this down with Beast Mode trying to sit on that corner boost. And now Hockey has Creams in position. And a high bouncer off that challenge, easily taken away by Atomic TSM, not overextending. They know how dangerous G2 can be. Of course, you also can't just play passive and let them get 10, 15 shots. They will bury you. Daniel looking for Atomic, but he's turned back. Now he'll circle back around, and Creams will have that away. Hockey thought about it and realized, eh, you know what? Maybe more token pressure rather than diving in. Yeah, he didn't have any boost anyways. There wasn't much he could do there. Now turns and tries to give it to Wavy. Wavy tried to wrap around it, wants to get a better shot on target, but him and Hockey both demoed, so... G2 now controlling the ball in the air, playing it all the way back to the blue back wall again. Atomic got a bump here on Wavy, and is trying to look for more ways to intercept. He's trying to get a bump on Creams in the back end while this ball's just floating in midfield. Beast Mode doesn't have too many options, so he opts to go for a back pass to Daniel. Daniel with a strong clearance is going to force Wavy to jump and take this, and TSM once again trying to hold on as G2 looking for a way through to see if they can equalize. Decent ball forward there out of TSM, but again, nobody diving forward. They're get, they've got the lead. They're trying so hard not to overextend, and it's a fine line to walk. Uh, late challenge there from Creams. Daniel's shot is set wayward. Now Wavy for hockey, perhaps. He's also up. They're both on the left side waiting for someone to take charge. That someone is Daniel. It's G2. Here they come again. Creams finally deleted. They've been trying to demo him for a while and they finally take him out, but it's still TSM on the attack. Final minute now of game four. Must win in many ways for TSM, and Wavy might have just maybe secured it. It's certainly a cushion they very much needed. Good little wave dash there from Wavy, able to get it past Atomic. TSM now, big position for them. Final minute. Up by two, they've held G2 to a single goal. Oh my goodness, I say that in Daniel. Oh, he's got it off the kickoff. TSM, you can't let it slip away. G2 are within one now. Yeah, they had insurance, but the house had it. G2 are right back within one, and it only took them a matter of seconds. This will be the longest 57 seconds for TSM. Beast Mode, up the ladder, here we go again. He's got help across, it's Daniel again! No way! Beast Mode with the playmaker, he's got three assists. It's been Beast to Dan the entire game. We all know what Dan can do, and he is showing it here. Back to back for G2 and TSM. They were going into the final minute with a two-goal lead. It's now anybody's game. Their major hopes can dwindle right here, right now. OG fans kind of raise their eyebrows again, like, oh, wait a minute. It could happen here. 35 seconds. Wavy. Let's that go so he can play it forward. Daniel cuts him off. And all of a sudden, TSM have to find yet another answer. Creams out, Hockey out, Wavy all alone. That goes over to the corner where Hockey had respawned, and he got a piece of that as well, but Atomic stole the corner boost. Creams comes up empty. Wavy downfield, and Atomic has that out to the side. Another shot from Hockey, saved away by Beast Mode. Chance now for TSM, though, for the time running down. Wavy, nothing doing, cut out by Daniel. They still want to keep this up, but Beast Mode will let it hit the ground. Overtime in game four. TSM must win situation if they want to reverse sweep G2. G2 just have to score one more, and they go on to the grand finals. What we see it here? No. Daniel's play is blocked out by Hockey. Beast Mode up to the skies. Creams stops him there. TSM need to get out of their own zone because G2 have been deadly. Daniel just lob it up to the backboard again, and Wavy gets that away, but not out of the zone. They just keep on coming. TSM gonna have their hands full here. They've gotta be nearly perfect here in this overtime. Beast mode to the corner. It's Atomic leaving it for Daniel. 
Creams and Hockey on the backboard. Wavy challenges. Creams got it away, but only as far as Atomic. They just cannot escape. Finally get a little bit of room here, but for how long? Daniel off the ceiling, trying to 50 wave. He does get the 50. Hockey and Atomic trade demos. So Cream's trying to get the game winner, but it's blocked away from Beast Mode. Huge goal line save from Mode. Keeps this game alive here for G2. TSM were so close to being able to force a game five. Chance here for a pass. Wavy gonna slam that one straight to Daniel. He picks this all the way up off the back wall, brings it right back to midfield. Daniel, no way! One into the other! Daniel finishes the job! What a play from G2! They take this series in a sweep! Daniel, Ghost, 